Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we made it into Gerudo Town, and we learned that the family slash Gerudo heirloom was stolen from Riju, the leader of the Gerudo, and she tasked us to go ahead and retrieve it from the Yiga clan, which apparently stole it from them just the other day, and, well, the Yiga clan is located all the way here, so we have to traverse Gerudo Desert to get there, and the easiest way to make your way through the desert since it's so huge and we're not going to want to walk it uh, is, well, we're going to need one of these sand seals. Yeah, these weird sand looking walruses. These, uh, these guys are really helpful to use when uh, pretty much, yeah, sand surfing. So, yeah, we can get to where we want to go very easily, and I believe since it is nighttime in the desert it is going to get cold but luckily i did pick up the warm duble last time so we're going to be able to get through and actually i don't really need this outfit anymore since we're not in gerudo so i'm going to put on my uh, stealth garb and that is the sheikah attire because yeah we're going to need to do something pretty stealthy yeah we're going to have to sneak around in the upcoming mission because we got to retrieve a stolen item and we're heading straight to the Yiga clan's base. Yeah, we're going to their base of operations, and we know a lot of them do exist, so we gotta be prepared, and uh, we most likely don't wanna get caught. So that's why I feel like the Sheikah garb is gonna be very helpful. I'll be honest though, you don't need it. I feel like the Sheikah garb is more helpful in tracking down like enemies, or like sneaking up on enemies, or animals, or anything like that. It's not more so with uh, with this like upcoming quest trying to sneak around something else. Uh, what I mean by that is just in general, what's up ahead is not that difficult. You could do it with any set of clothing. So don't feel pressured to buy this just because it does give you additional stealth. But as you can see, the closer we get to um, this, oh, okay, it's completely, uh, yeah, cut out. But if I make my way out of the, um, the sandstorm itself, we can see again because, yeah, it's like the Sheikah Slate loses reception once it enters the sandstorm. But... We're just trying to follow this path here, not stray too far out, and then make our way up very north to where, yeah, it will take us to where we need to go. And as you can see, the closer we get, we can see some of these banners on, uh, like, you know, ropes. And, um, yeah, it may look familiar to pretty much every time they pop in and out, these uh, Yiga clan members, because yeah, it's identical to the stuff they have. And as we approach it, you're going to start to see more references. Yeah, you can see some of these uh, little stones that have the Sheikah, or not the Sheikah, well, I guess it's like the Sheikah logo, but upside down. So it reminds me of a gossip stone that usually has a Sheikah logo, but this time it's like a Yiga stone, you could say, that are just there, but they're just literally there to be there. Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're almost to where we need to go, which is just heading upwards from here. And uh, once we make it to the very end, I think we'll be good. But there are rocks coming down, so you want to be careful. I don't think it's too hard to avoid. If you do hit the wall with uh, the uh, sand seal, I do believe he might leave you. I'm not too sure, but I think we made it to an end, right? Yeah, there's no way I can get any higher. So thank you for that. We're going to go ahead and let him leave, and then we're going to continue the rest on foot. Because, yeah, the sand seal can no longer continue, so it didn't take too long to make it here. But, now that we have arrived, we need to get ready, because, yeah, there, it's not going to be as safe as you may think. I mean, clearly, we're entering uh, an enemy's base that their goal is essentially to seek out and kill us. So, yeah, these guys, as you can see, they're going to chuck arrows at you. And you need to be quick, because you want to attack them. And then once you kill them, they'll drop their bow, which I believe is a duplex bow. Let's see. Let me pick up the rupees because I could use that too. Uh, but yeah, I would like the bow as well. So yeah, duplex bow. Nice. Uh, but yeah, the more you continue forward, the more you'll find uh, these guys. And let me see how many arrows I have. I have 14. Okay, good. You're going to want arrows for this as well just to uh, help you not just take on these enemies, but it will come as a distraction later on and you're going to see... Uh, but I think overall we'll be good. So let me just quickly hit this guy, avoid their attacks, and then run. I believe if we continue running, we'll be good. Like, they won't be able to hit us. But if they do hit us, I know it will do a great amount of damage. Because, you know, arrows do hurt in this game. Like, they want it to be a little more realistic. So, like, yeah, you normally don't want to get hit from any arrow attack. But, as... Oh, see, as you can see, yeah, I did a lot of damage. But, as I make it here, I am ready to... Kill anybody in sight! Come here! You, 
Yeah, they're all gonna teleport in front of me, and this is my chance to just go ham and attack them all. Don't even bother. Oh, yeah. There was the last one. Oh, he's burning on fire. <laughs> okay, I think we took care of all of the ones chasing me, so not bad. Uh, let me pick up all of these rupees real quickly, and then I will dress in to the remaining outfit. Hopefully it's not too cold in here to where I can't even uh, get around. Actually, it might be, so let me wait until I get somewhere indoors. But yeah, we have arrived to the center, the base of operations, but these guys are freaking ninjas. It's not going to be that easy to sneak in. You don't just find their entrance and find your way in. But if you couldn't tell, there are a bunch of banners with their logo on, which is literally just the Sheikah logo upside down. And um, if, if you couldn't tell as well, there is like a fire logo. So I'm going to go ahead and try something interesting. And this is where you're going to need some arrows. And you could try doing this, and that is... Have your arrow touch a fire and then shoot it. Is it even touching the fire? I can't tell. Um, let me try again. Okay, wait. I think it did. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot now. Perfect. So you don't have to shoot through the torch itself. Literally, Link can just light, as you can see, light the arrow. And by doing that, we've opened up the path. That was literally it. I'm pretty sure we don't really need to check out what's in the other ones. But you know, let me go ahead and do that. So let me grab some fire. Shoot it. You could pretty much shoot all of them, and there's so many duplex bows that these enemies dropped. But, um, yeah, hey, look, a chest. You know what? I'll grab this one. We'll see what's in it. Maybe something helpful for what's up ahead. But we already opened up their secret. And, hey, look, it's 50 rupees. Okay, nothing too important. All right, well, I guess it's time now to enter here, which is, yes, it's, it's going to start saving, I think. Okay, the Yiga Clan hideout. Yes. We're in, guys. Let me put on this, so now I have full stealth. It is maxed. I get the little bonus, uh, you know, for all three. And actually, I don't really think this one gives you, like, a stat bonus. But it doesn't matter. I have all three equipped, so I'm pretty much maxed out in stealth. And anyways, hey, what are you doing here? This is a hideout for those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunder Helm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you'll be able to take on all of them if you only had some way of distracting them. But I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. Okay, well, you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way through here. So, yeah, there's really no way to quote-unquote exploit their weakness because all they do is patrol and eat bananas. <laughs> and it's funny because now it makes sense. That's why they always drop bananas. Every time we kill one of these guys, they drop a banana for some reason. So, yeah, I guess it's just their favorite fruit, it seems. But now that we know that, we should maybe consider bananas as in a distraction, pretty much. And, um... It can be used, actually, as a distraction. Whoa. Did he catch me? I hope not. Um, I jumped a little too soon. You don't want to get caught by these guys. I highly, highly recommend not being caught by these guys. Let me just run past him. As you can see, we managed to get past him. All right, sweet. Um, there's a chest over here. I kind of want to pick that up. So let's try something. Uh, let's not get caught. Let's just hit this. As you can see, there's an X. This is where the, uh, like... The twig is very, very weak, so if you hit it, um, b bananas will fall. He's not really that into it. What? <laughs> hey, buddy. Why didn't you get that banana? Okay, he noticed something. And let's run. Okay, quickly. Be careful he doesn't come all the way through. And we're good. All right, let's open up this chest because I want to see what's in it. And it's some sapphire. Okay, not bad, I guess, but that's not necessarily what I needed. All right, so there's a banana here. Hopefully, he'll go for this one. Let me hit it. And do you want a banana, sir? Huh? Want a ba oh, he's look, he's he's going. See, he's skipping. He's so happy. Freaking banana! You got a banana. Nice. Okay. Now we managed to get past there. Not too difficult, but this is where it gets a little more difficult. Uh, cause yeah, we got we got more Yiga Clan members to deal with and first i want to grab their freaking giant supply of mighty bananas yes i need all of this this is all gonna come in handy for sure all right give it up thank you now let me grab uh this which we could use some more actually i believe there's so many different material that you can grab right underneath you uh, let me see if i can check okay well 
there's a guy right there so i want to be careful but all right let's go ahead and try to continue sneaking through here so gotta be careful um let's see no is there someone around here no okay i was just a torch i mean they are holding torches too and that's what makes it a little trippy now what i want to do is there's a banana up here let's hit it go get the banana come on go no you don't want it uh-oh we gotta be careful now. He might have noticed. Let's hope not. Let's hope he doesn't notice Link. We will walk around if th that may be the case. All right, and he's coming. Let's go, go, go. All right, let's grab this. And now be extra careful if he's coming our way again. All right, he is. <gasps> he noticed a banana, he's going for it now. Now you go for the banana. Okay. Let me just grab these and uh, be on my way. Thank you. <laughs> I just managed to get myself so much. I stole all of their valuable jewels, pretty much. Oh, there's one more. All right, I have to get that one, too. Let's go for it. Run, 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 run. And grab it. All right, where is it? Please don't turn back. Okay, he's not. Whew. And now, just be a little careful. Make our way around. I'm sure there's maybe an another chest up here or something. Um, but we'll see how... Well, I'm just going to try to get around this. I mean, we can always come back when uh, it's not as important to do so. But we'll see. Okay, let's just go in and jump, jump. You can also kind of sneak jump to get around quicker. And now let's go ahead and jump up here. See, this is what's cool about climbing up things. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier. Like, these walls aren't really stopping us. But... Okay, hopefully he'll go for the banana and uh, we can make it. Oh, he didn't. This guy's going for the banana. Crap. All right. Let me go ahead and hit another arrow. Make a little noise. You don't want to hurt them. You hurt them, you're screwed. Like, completely. So, let's go ahead and try again. Come on, man. Uninterested. Okay. Well, if that doesn't work, then this is the only option. So... This may seem really dumb, but I'm going to have to do it. Do not set it off, though. If you set it off, it will be really bad. So now he noticed it. He sees the uh, the thing, and now we can run. Uh-oh, did he notice me? I wonder if he did. I don't think he did. He didn't. Okay. Yeah, if you set off the, um, the remote bomb, it will hurt him, and then he will send all the guards to come attack you. And if that is the case, then you're completely screwed. You either die or you have to teleport out here. There's really no other way out because they lock the doors. But is he continuously coming here or is he going to pick up the remote bomb? I think he already did because they can pick it up and pocket it too, which is cool. So that way you don't have to worry about setting it off on them and hurting them and making this whole mission not worth it. But as you can see, we made it. So, uh... What is it that we're supposed to do? Wait, can I sleep on this? Oh, it just says take. I can't carry any more of those. But yeah, like I said, we have made it to the end. And it seems like there's really nothing more here. Let me just break these pots and see. Oh, more arrows. We're going to need these arrows. But um, yeah, believe it or not, there is more to this. And I'm going to show off what we need to do. So take out your magnesis. And you may notice that this wall looks not the best. Like it has like this design on it, but it seems a little altered. And if we actually use our magnesis, yeah, we can shift it. But let me first see this. I just realized there's a chest as well, so. I'd like to see what's inside this chest. But either way, we're safe once we get in here. And we don't have to worry about the Yiga Clan catching us anymore. So, another rupee. Not bad. Okay. Now let's go ahead and... Wait. There we go. Uh, okay, that worked. All right, we have made it out. Let's see what awaits us. Hey! Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute. That thing on your hip. Is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If that's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... 
Yeah, it's you! You're the Link guy I've been looking for! <laughs> but look, my scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. Uh-oh. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the burly, the one, the only. Master Koga! Now prepare yourself! Uh, okay, so yes, the leader of the Yiga clan, Master Koga. He is very easy. He's gonna grab a rock and try to hit us with it. So you hit him with an arrow, and then you start attacking his butt when he falls into the thing. And this is literally the battle, guys. This is how we're gonna do it. Um, yeah, this is Master Koga. As you know, the Yiga clan, they aren't really the best in terms of, like, you know, being this uh, secret clan that's trying to kill Link. You know, every time they fail, so we're easily disposing of the leader it seems like you know it carries on throughout the whole clan they're not the best i mean they have a cool theme them being the anti sheik and everything but they're a joke as you can see now he's summoning more of these balls and all we need to do is wait because he's going to go ahead and start to rotate him and then once it's on top of his head we're going to do exactly what we did before and hit him and now uh, uh, yeah 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 yeah, yeah, ooh, that felt pretty nice. It doesn't do much damage. Pretty much all the damage you want to inflict is from the uh, the ball, the freaking balls that he summons. So he's gonna do it again. Let's see which one he starts rotating. All right, you rotate this, and then bam in the head. Go ahead and uh, yeah, nice. All right, it looks like he's upset now. And he's going to do another technique. It's cool how he can fly and stuff. I mean, overall, this reminds me of, like, the majority of bosses within every Zelda game. It's like you figure out the gimmick, and then there's not really a battle. Oh, okay, wait, I just realized he has a really giant destructive orb of sorts. But, luckily, we can also use the Magnesis and fight against him. Because we have the power of the Sheikah Slate. So, what I'm going to do is... Wait, whoops. I'm going to crush him with it. Yeah, there we go. You just kind of hit him. And that's literally all there is to it. So... Let's go ahead and wait for him to summon another one and check this out guys, we're done. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd be done in like this and by this guy of all people? You think I'm going to just let you stand, do you? I almost lost my temper there. <sighs> what a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do? Ah, I got it. I need to bust out my serious moves. A secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. I will destroy you. Can you just say like great, great grandfather? Okay, whatever. Uh, so this is our end. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's one of these again. I mean, so far they've only proven to hurt you. Uh, maybe a tad bit too big. Are you still over there? You know, I haven't left. I'm still here. Hi. Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. <laughs> only the leader of the Yiga clan can use a secret technique. It is the ultimate... Uh-oh, it seems like your technique has backfired. I shall be remembered. The Yiga Clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule! Alright, peace. You do that, and by doing so, we get what we came here for, and that is the Thunder Helm. So let's go ahead and open this chest and receive it from the leader himself after he pretty much beat himself up. I mean, we barely did much. He hurt himself, if anything. Link inflicted little to no damage. It was all his, like, giant freaking blasts and rocks and stuff that hurt him. But, yeah, here we are uh, at the end, or pretty much, like, the center, I guess you could say, of their, like, hideout or something. And um, at the very top, you can continue on to another region, and it will get colder as we make our way north. Uh, I could do that, which is cool because it kind of leads to something, but I'm not going to. We actually want to teleport back to Gerudo Town. Let uh, Riju know that we, you know, retrieved her Thunder Helm and see what it can do to get us closer to Naboris, and that way we can enter it. Because, yeah, that is. 
pretty much our upcoming goal heading to the next temple the second one the second divine beast we just need to make our way in it and then we'll be able to take it on you can pretty much take him on and any order and i don't really know if this is necessarily the second easiest it's definitely easier than one of them i'd say this one and a, another one are like let's say not as easy as the first but not as difficult as the last so i'm just kind of doing this one in i want to say the order that makes sense you know and uh oh okay i totally forgot my bad that yeah we can't enter because we're a guy so i have to quickly change my freaking stuff into yeah the uh the gerudo garb so all right yeah we got kicked out i didn't mean to i totally forgot all right i will not return sorry i don't know why i even I tried climbing the wall like that okay let's just go ahead and now swap so oh wait wrong outfit okay there we go pretty sure you can like organize it yeah there we go wait sorted by okay i like this it's sorted by the type of armor now so it's easier to find but okay <laughs> you're looking to fight i didn't mean to do that actually no i did i wanted to see what the reaction would be it's cool how the npcs do react yeah we can see a rito female chilling with a bunch of gerudo and um yeah it's just you know it's, it's pretty nice to check out the town i will definitely take my time to check it out and uh see all the quests i can do here but we're currently focusing just on the main quests for now so that way we can open up more of the game and uh yeah, so Riju was no longer in the throne. We can actually head up to her room, and she's awaiting for us there. But um, I do want to show off her room, actually, because as you can see, she's a pretty big fan of the sand seals. Uh, it's like covering her bed entirely, and she has like plushies and stuff. It's freaking hilarious. I like how that's like, you know, a thing they're making. You know, they're basing it off of like the one and only uh, animal you find within... Well, I guess, no, you can find enemies, but yeah, pretty much the only, like, friendly animal that you can ride or whatever is these sand seals within Gerudo Desert. So I guess it's, like, their main animal. And I'm pretty sure it's, uh, what, like, their theme is because I, I'm, I also know that there is a giant, like, walrus statue somewhere in the village, which, uh, kind of represents them. Maybe, I'm not too sure, but maybe it's also for, like, you know, something we can do later on, but we'll look into it. Anyways... Stop wasting time and speak to Riji. Riju. And speak to Riju. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, you need it. say a word. As the chief of the Grito, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still a child. The people look at me with nothing but warmth in their eyes. But even this brings some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt though a shadow has fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all of this must be the work of Leda Urbosa. Now, please give me the helm. Alright, well, here you go. Um, how do I look? Uh... Wait a second. Looks like a memory is coming back. This must be very familiar to something before. Well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, 
She's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Babusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How... How is it? Do I look alright? Uh... Uh... It's a tad big. <laughs> you don't say, uh... Literally just like... <laughs> almost, uh... Falls off or something. That's pretty hilarious. It can't even stay on her head properly. But okay. The threat Divine Beast Vanna Boris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find a way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course, that's what I'm here for. So, yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought just before such a momentous battle? Hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease. I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the outpost south of town. There's only one way to get close to Nabores, and that is with the help of the Sand Seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a Sand Seal there. You could get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting with my favorite Sand Seal, Patrisa. Alright, sounds good. Still, it really is a little big. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But, okay, so now we know what we need to do. We need to make our way to where, uh, you know, Riju has went, which is the lookout post over there. So we're going to go ahead and start making our way there by riding a sand seal. And she did tell us to ride one so we can get used to it. And this is what I meant by the sand seal statue. Yeah, it's right here, you know, just chilling, which is pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah. Actually... Yeah, it's kind of just like the entrance to here, which is interesting. Oh no, it does lead to Sansa. See, I had a feeling. So maybe I can rent one for 20 rupees? I honestly didn't know that, which is pretty uh, interesting. But I'm not going to, because we can do this. That's if I can even rent one. I might be like a mini game or something that we'll look into later on. I do want to come back to Gerudo Town and do whatever we need to do. But we got a mission at hand, and that is making our way to... Naboris. So, uh, yeah, doing so, we gotta quickly ride the sand seal all the way over to where she is. And I don't think I'm gonna need this outfit anymore. I'm pretty sure the weather should be fine. So let's go ahead and put on this here and then get going. Uh, yeah, Link's temperature will start going up if it does get too hot. Yeah, it will go down if it gets too cold. But I think in general, the weather, like in between day and night, it's fine. But okay. So I've made it with one of the sand seals, and uh, yeah, she's going to be at the lookout post. If you do need a bow, because you're definitely going to need one, this is going to be very similar to how we uh, approached Varuta, uh, and you're going to see. But yeah, there is a golden bow here, which I think I could use, because I'm pretty sure I don't have a golden bow. So let's go ahead and actually check, and I don't. I have a freaking Boku bow. Why would I keep that? So... Go ahead and open this. And, yeah, there we go. Okay, I definitely want this, so. I'm gonna equip it. It does 14 damage like all of these. All of these do 14 damage. Actually, wait. This one will shoot too, it seems. Um, because it has, yeah, it's pretty nice. Alright, nice. Okay, let's just go. Actually, do I want that? Let's just use the golden bow as the game 
uh, gives you. But I'm shocked. Despite what the chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. I guess we are very short to these guys. Wow, I just realized, like, the uh, Gerudo, they're very, very tall. At least the Gerudo guards prove to be very tall. But the chief must have her reason for believing that you can fight the Divine Beast. Yeah, because I'm the chosen one from a hundred years ago. Jeez. Uh, she's been away. It's funny, because, like, even Zelda, like, as we saw from that uh, flashback, every time Zelda sees Link, she gets upset for some reason. And it's just like, as Noboris said, or not Noboris, but as uh, Abrosa said, it's because she feels like she's not doing her job. She wants to be the one to do everything. She didn't want to have Link a part of this destiny, it seems, because she feels like it should all be on her shoulders, which I feel like is a little much, you know? Zelda is definitely... Uh, putting herself through a lot of pressure, or was at least at the time, but yeah, we have made it to Riju, let's go ahead and speak to her. Well then, that's what you really look like, huh? Yeah, I believe if you switch your garb, she will actually notice what you're wearing. With the Vogue band from town, it's not very common to see someone like you, yeah. What a sight, Divine Beast Naboris is pretty intimidating. If we can get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Of course, that's why I came here. Feeling confident? Good, let's get going then. First, we'll need to use sand seals to get really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot its feet with bomb arrows. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm, but it can also shield a limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to get shocked. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bombs. They aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. All right, we got 20, and uh, you only need 20 for this because we're going to be attacking its legs, and it shouldn't take more. But if you do run out, then you will be in trouble. So if you don't feel like 20 is enough, then I highly suggest getting more. Luckily, she already gives us 20, so we're good. So that is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Of course. Let's do this. I didn't come all the way here for no reason. Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? Okay. My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and the leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall call him the divine beast Va Naboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh wow, I can feel their power coursing through me! <laughs> Let's move! Alright, here we go! It's time, Link is ready too. Oh man. It's time to approach the next Divine Beast. Lady Arbosa, please grant me and Link your protection. Alright, let's hope so. Let's hope somehow Arbosa is gonna help in some way even though her spirit is probably trapped within the divine beast similar to how mifa was because she is a champion similar to mifa but all right so it begins guys so what we need to do is uh follow riju as much as possible and stay within the lines because um yeah like he said pretty much a hit will get us killed and let's see let me first equip these we're gonna need the bomb arrows of course and you know what i'll go ahead and eat some of this just in case you don't have a little hp but i'm pretty sure if i were to get hit by uh yeah <laughs> nervosa it would not be a good thing so we're gonna see though right now as we start to approach it so once you make your way into the sandstorm itself it's gonna be hard to tell what's going on but just keep following riju and we can hear a shrine but don't listen to that if you do feel not so confident then uh you can just easily leave uh, or stop her, like, get off of the walrus, and then she'll ask you, I guess, the sand seal, but, yeah, okay, we are slowly approaching it, you don't have to speed up too much, I don't want to speed up, honestly, I want to stay close to her, but, like, not outside the ring, of course, um, because that will get us hurt, so, 
Yeah, you just kind of want to stay by her until I believe she'll tell us. This is very similar to us in Sidon when we were trying to enter Varuta. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much like we team up with someone, uh, you know, and we try to do it. And sadly, it isn't the champion that we team up. It's a different character, but still, it makes sense. But anyways, uh-oh, it's charging. All right, so look out. So what we got to do is we need to stay with uh, or freaking uh, Riju. There we go. And it will shock. And there you go. Yeah, foolish. Okay. Oh, I forgot. She actually speaks here. Like, it's not just dialogue. But, all right. So I don't want to get out of here because it will hurt me. And uh, what we need to do is we need to shoot this. There we go. We hit it once. Let's let it back up a bit because we don't want to actually get hit by it. And then hit it again. Nice. That should be the first one down. And we pretty much want to do this for every single uh, one, every, all of the, the freaking legs of uh, the Divine Beast. And I feel like this one is honestly easier than, um, than the other one. It's just you're more prone to dying if you mess up. Like, you're, you will die if you mess up, actually. So you don't want to risk it. You want to kind of just be patient when this happens. There we go. And usually she'll tell you when you have another chance to go for it. So there we go. I think that destroyed that one. And now we can go for this one. Let's quickly hit it. Uh, you don't want to be too close to the freaking legs as well, just because if you are, you'll also uh, probably... Oh, shoot. Let's not freaking get hit. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're good. Oh, did Link actually get hit? Oh, no, I hit the, the freaking thing. All right, we're fine, though. Uh, let's just go ahead and turn and continue onward. So, okay. Now what I want to do is speed up and hit the next... Uh-oh. Stay in. Don't stray. I got it. I'm not straying. I won't stray. Oh, jeez. We were so close. Oh, no. I'm going to get hit. And we're good. That was way too close for comfort. Okay. Now it's time to focus on the last two. So here we go. Hit it. And we just need to hit the last one one more time. But let's not die here. I mean, I won't actually die if I do lose my HP. Luckily, since um, we do have Mipha's Grace. But it doesn't matter. Let's just end it. There we go. I think that does it. Yeah, we managed to complete it. And now, Naboris should halt, at least for a second. This reminds me a lot of Shadow of the Colossus in many ways, <laughs> which I enjoy a lot, but we did it. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. 